Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. We're up to evening number four in our Salute to Women film pioneers, and we have another great lineup of groundbreaking movies for you right now. And to help me introduce you to some of these great filmmakers is Jane Gaines, a professor at Duke University and the director of the film and video program there. Welcome back, Jane. Great to be here, Robert. Thank you. Now, our first film tonight was one of the most anticipated films of its time because it featured the talking debut of one of the biggest stars of the day, the it girl, Clara Bow. The movie is The Wild Party from Paramount Pictures in 1929 and directed by a woman, Dorothy Arzner. Now, this was a huge movie, Paramount's first talking picture, the first talking picture, as I said, for Clara Bow. Jane, why did they entrust such an important project to Dorothy Arzner? Well, Robert, um, you know, why not? She was at Paramount and she had been there doing the, heading the editing department for a couple of years. Uh, she started directing in 1927. She knew that business inside out. She'd begun at the bottom writing scripts. Uh, she was the consummate professional. You just take a look at her, the photos of her. She's so crisp and so impeccably dressed and, and she did everything extremely well. She was so competent. Now, she got along very well with Clara Bow, didn't she? And yes. Clara Bow was kind of a complicated lady. Well, Dorothy worked with a lot of stars, Catherine Hepburn. Um, Crawford. Joan Crawford, definitely. And the anecdote that we all like to tell about Wild Party is how she had, um, you know, found that there was trouble Clara had with the microphones. You know, stationary microphones weren't working. So she devised this fishing pole, this fishing pole that hung over the heads of the stars and it became the boom mic. Wow. So she was inventive, definitely. And she's one of the few directors, maybe the only woman director that kind of translated and went into the 30s and 40s. Yes, her, her career was a relatively long career up until 1943. And she was really the lone woman in the studio system. And, and we remember her for that. It's very important to know that she stuck it out when others didn't. Why didn't her success open the door for more women, would you say? Well, it wasn't that simple, of course, Robert. Uh, one woman didn't mean that another woman could do it. I think that they made exceptions to the rule, and I think Dorothy was that exception. So it didn't translate to opportunities for others. But what's interesting to me is the way these women remember the women who went before. Dorothy, in an interview later in her life, says that she had worked with Herbert Blaché, who she refers to as the husband of the directress, oh. Alice Guy <laughs> Blaché. So there was a way in which they remembered every single one. Yes. Let's have a look at the movie. Here's the film from 1929, co-starring Clara Bow and Frederick March. The Wild Party, directed by Dorothy Arzner.